Hey guys, today Chuck and I are going to go down to Whole Foods and experiment with some protein supplements. We're going to compare the taste, the quality content, and figure out which one we feel is best for you. Two? No, four. Four. Came through dripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Flow make the design my my bed and stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, a hey, you want us rep run when I tell a big piece. Love is love. Love is love. I need yours. Bendo, bendo with the switch again. Boy, they livin' like he happenin'. I'm with they just give them estimates. Summer sauce for my Benjamins. I got, I got what you need, baby. Turn your Chevy, make a scene, baby. LA, BB, bend the team, baby. Hey guys, we're here to test, test out these proteins. We poured them all out uh, and we're ready to go here. So Max, you want to explain how we're going to score these? Yes, so we have six different proteins here. Uh, as we were pouring them, we didn't realize that we poured a lot of it, but it will be cons uh, conserved and saved as times go on. But how we're gonna grade these, we have one, two, and three on my side, and Chuck has one, two, and three on his side. We're gonna base and judge it on our favorites of the taste, as well as the thickness and how smooth it goes down. And then after we figure it out, we'll switch. He'll do the same on that side, and we'll take the better two, and we'll enjoy it at the end there together. Let's do it. Yeah. So, my first one is the organic hemp protein. Um, it just sounds like it is healthy. Yeah, my first one here is the organic, organ, plant-based protein. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there that tend to go that route simply because of the plant-based. I was going to say, as a third criteria, we should include personal preference. Personal preference? Yeah, yeah, just because you might know that one protein is better for you than another. I like that. So, let's try this, this out. Thick. Whoa. Mmm. Ugh. I'll try a little more. If that's what hemp tastes like, then yeah, I, I haven't had that before. I know there's like hemp necklaces you make. Mm. This is a very unique taste. This so, one is really good. That's good? Yeah, I'm, it tastes weird, but I really like it. I can't say the same for the hemp. This is smooth too. Now, okay. Now let's compare it to the other one though. So just going okay. down the line here, I have the Ascent. I actually personally enjoy this and I have a larger bag of it myself. So, and I use it regularly. Um, so I already know I'm going to enjoy this cool. one. Cool. I already know I'm going to love this one. This one tastes great. A, a lot of you have probably tried this before. Maybe a little more sugar and artificialness <laughs> yeah. to it. Uh, they have different flavors as well. Strawberry, vanilla like you're trying, mm -hmm. and chocolate. <sighs> so comparing that muscle milk to the plant-based. It's a little bit clumpy. Can you taste the difference outside of the smoothness? So that, so that is one. It's a little bit more clumpier than, despite not being shooken up enough, uh, than the plant-based. This right here, fantastic. Didn't make a face at all when drinking it. Champions. Nice. Yeah. So me personally, I would choose the Ascent over the hemp um, based on taste. But there are a lot of good nutrients and things that are in this um, protein powder that the Ascent does not offer that are beneficial for the body. Surprisingly enough, I would actually go with this plant-based protein over the muscle milk. For and For, two, you know, the top two reasons, taste and smoothness. And I'm not even thinking about the personal preference, but mm -hmm. I know this is better for you than yeah. muscle milk. Yeah, muscle milk has a lot of... Fillers. Yeah, what's that big D word? Or maltodextrin, yeah. So... That, when you see that inside the, it, it's basically not as good for you, so be careful. Let's go with the third one. That so, I have here Ripple Nutrition Chocolate Protein Shake. It's also plant-based, so I think that should be interesting to kind of compare the two. 
and mine is Remedy Organics, has 14 grams of protein in it, uh, almond milk, Peruvian, dates, yeah, looks good here. I like that. I like it. It has a good taste. It's not that thick. It's actually a little thicker than the Ascent here, but I actually like the taste of this better than the, the previous one. So, wow. Mine doesn't have a taste. This one doesn't have a taste? <laughs> no. Or is your taste buds just starting to go Maybe away? Maybe COVID. No, no, no. Is that too soon? Cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, out of me, personally, I like the taste of this one here. I'm not a big fan of that based on taste. Uh, in regards to nutrient content, I do believe there is a lot of benefits in there. Usually when the things don't taste as good, they, they are good for you. You got so, all those shrooms in there. Yeah, the shrooms inside. Uh, so the winner on my side is going to be this guy right here. I'm gonna say this one. The plant-based? Yeah, it's really okay. good. Now, it has we, a weird taste, but. Did, did you wanna try each other's as well? I mean, do you have enough? No, I think we stay safe. Stay safe? Yeah. Okay, I trust your opinion there, Chuck. So we cheers to these top two victors. Right here. Cheers to you guys. Boom. Boom. And get your protein. The reason why we're doing this is simply to provide information of the types of proteins out there, as well as provide good information about the benefits of it. So first and foremost, it's good for muscular growth. Um, it should be consumed throughout the day. Uh, more specifically, 0.8 to 1.1 grams per uh, kilogram of body weight. So if you're a 180 pound male or female, you want to have about 180 pounds of, or uh, grams of protein in your diet. Yeah, you don't want that much. <laughs> and um, yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll be back for another video soon. And that's about it. <laughs> Enjoy. Peace. Breaking up in a corner